This is Sarah, first table read. Okay. In the stereo, busy day, a uh, busy street, daytime. People are walking down the street. After a few pairs of legs go past, a guy and a girl bump into each other. The guy drops some groceries and the girl helps pick them up. The two then exchange some words. I'm so, so sorry about that. Oh no, it's okay, seriously, it's fine. Nothing. It's you. Know, oh, it's continued. Yeah, yeah. Just okay, keep going. Is that, oh, okay, right. <laughs> well, um. You live around here? Yeah, actually I do. Thought I recognized you. Really? Yeah, although, I always see you on your own. No girlfriend, or...? Well, no, <laughs> I don't right now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, if, if that's the case, how about I make it up to you? You don't have to, it's, it's No, okay. I should have to. I mean, you just knocked over some bags. Really? Come on. Okay, okay, fine. Sure. What have you in mind? My house. This Friday. Not, not to mean it. No, yeah, I mean... Sure. Here's my number. Call me for the details of my house, if that's still cool. Sure, awesome. Well, um, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Sarah. Nice to meet you. Do the action, do the action. Sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what to say. Uh, Dave awakens, needing to get ready to go to Sarah's. He brushes his teeth, takes a shower, and puts on some nice clothes. He walks out of his house and eventually arrives at Sarah's. He knocks, she opens, and he comes in. Uh, her house. Sarah and Dave sit on the couch, not much surrounds the room, though. They talk about what they are and what makes them tick, like their passions and their pers uh, families and personalities. Ever heard of the saying, Dr. Lawyer Accountant? Actually, yes. In fact, someone came to our school, um, someone came to our school and used that in a joke. Well, that's how it should be used. In reality, in reality, that sadly has been railed into me as a motto, pretty much, by my parents. Shit. I know I wouldn't be able to cope with even just one of those. Luckily, it was just one, Doctor. Although naturally, the others, my, the others are my downfall. When both your parents are doctors, it's kind of hard to be anything else. Start my second year of biomed next month, actually. I hate saying this to people, but what did you, or do you want to do? Well, be a drummer, actually. But why do you hate saying that? In my opinion, there's just too much out there, you know? One day you could aspire to be football, to play football, the next you wake up and you have this strange urge to try to write a book. In a year you could be like, the you could like the idea of being an actor, but then before you know it, you're dead. Why ask me then? Dave, you didn't sound too keen on this idea. I was just trying to kind, of, trying to be kind. Drumming is certainly a lot more cooler though, just saying. Yeah, but saving lives is pretty cool too, after all. Pay much better. Yes, I did love you. I, li I did love playing, especially at gigs where you just lose yourself. And actually, my parents went to and enjoyed nearly every single one. I've said it to people. I'm much better at listening to music than making it. Anyway, sorry, I seem to have hijacked the conversation. It's okay. I like listening to you. Really? Yeah, you make me feel assured. And thanks for being honest. Honest? You know, not just agreeing with me before and trying to say the right things. One day, I'm going to say something real fucked up and see if the guy just nods. Uh. <laughs> okay, well, I will keep my life story a lot more snappy. Still being affected by a long-term breakup, his name was James. In a way, he introduced me to some things I wouldn't dream of, but in a good way. Don't really talk to my parents. Working on writing, my, uh, working on writing right now. You're writing? Yeah, I write a bit here and there. It's more like blogging, really. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Do you get paid or something for that? No, it's not that type of thing. I actually work in gyms, believe it or not. Wait, didn't someone go missing from there not so long ago? Sam something, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Sam. Been pretty grim there lately, to be honest. Anyways. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. Where was I? The rest of your... Life story, I think. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love writing. I used to write, like, some short stories, which probably won't ever happen. Wait, what do you write about now? Sarah pauses for a little until we hear a buzzer going off in the background. Dinner is ready. Food. Uh, well, dinner's ready. It's a surprise, though, so brace yourself. Oh, have you written about it? You could say that. 
Now come on, before it gets somehow before it somehow gets cold. Okay, okay. Dave goes and sits down at the dinner table while Sarah comes out of the kitchen with a meal like with a meat like meal and serves it to the both of them. She calls it Jerry. Jerry? C U S beef. Don't worry, it's just beef. I remember seeing some steaks in your bag. I thought you might like something like this. Yeah, no, great memory. And it smells really nice. A little spicy even. Yeah, I love spicy food at the moment. I probably should have said something though. No, that makes the two of us. I really love spicy food. As long as it's not crazy hot. Like, on the top of the, um, what's it called? On top of the Scoville scale. That's the one. Yeah, I think it would be very low. Just some, like, green and red chilies, really. Might have slipped in a few jalapeno numbers. Jalapeno is my favourite, actually. Me too. Maybe it wasn't just a coincidence, after all. It's very hard to find someone who also likes jalapenos, you know? You never know. You never know. Seriously, though, Cherry? You could say this reminds me of someone. Dave looks down at his meal for a brief moment and only doesn't seem appetizing, but it hardly resembles a person. Dave holds this thought, doesn't want to come off rude. Brother? Friend? Boyfriend? <laughs> Actually, yes. Wait, all three? No. A, a friend, I guess you could say. <laughs> well then, as they say, bon appetit. I don't actually think I ever heard or said that out loud before. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. I found it, it, it kind of cute, actually. She raised her glass. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. They smile as the two dig into the meal. Before he puts the piece of meat into his mouth, he looks at her and she stuffs her face with the food. She almost seems to off a sigh of relief when she consumes each piece. He looks down at his plate, cuts off a piece of the meat and puts it in his mouth. He crunches and grinds the odd piece of meat. It certainly doesn't seem like beef. He swallows the meat, but he has some residue left in his mouth. He tries to pick it out and struggles. Good. Not too overdone or undercooked or... No, it's great. A little rough, but I'm sure it's just the meat. The guy continues to try and eat the meat, but he can't, and he has to force himself to eat it. He even starts to gag a little. On the other hand, she finishes the plate with ease. He seems confused, but doesn't want to offend her, so he picks up his meat and hides it in his pocket. He looks around for a bathroom. Hey, Sarah, would I be able to use the bathroom? Would you be able to use the bathroom? Of course you can't. No, of course you could. It's just up the stairs at the end of the hall. Thank you. Just best take cheers. This is a date. I'll be back in two secs. Okay, but don't be too long. The two share an awkward smile and the guy starts to walk up to the bathroom. I keep saying the guy. Dave rushes upstairs to try and find the bathroom. As he seems to find it, he walks past the room which looks like it's currently being used. Used by a guy as well. He opens the door and sees clothes laying out on the bed. He goes over to, uh, to them and picks them up. On the name tag it reads Jerry. He looks around and finds some other clothes with the names Sam and James on. Confused, he scans the room to see if he can find anything else. It seems pretty empty overall. He finds this a little unsettling, seeing that his main course was also named Jerry, and regarding the other two people named before. He shakes it off, goes to the bathroom and flushes the meat down the toilet. He goes back downstairs. He goes back downstairs, but sees the table now cleared and she is nowhere to be found. He walks around the kitchen and finds a piece of paper with dinner marked on it as Jerry, and the dessert as ice cream, but with a question mark next to it. Below it, listed for tomorrow's dinner, is Dave. He calls for a name, but she does not, he does not get a response. So, what's for dessert? Sarah, hello? Say that again. Oh, Sarah, there you are. Where'd you go? Say that again. Say what again? Say, what's for dessert again? That's the one. Okay. What's for dessert? For you. She looks directly at him and him back at her. She then bursts out in laughter. <laughs> Look on your face! Sorry, it just seemed like perfect timing. Dessert is ready. Wait, I didn't finish. I hope you like your ice cream. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> who doesn't? The two once again sit down at the table, and this time only he, who is very hungry, starts to delve into his meal. She offers a red raspberry sauce, to which he uses. As he gets to the end of his meal, he still has something stuck in his teeth. As she stares at him, and he tries to get the thing out of his mouth, he realises she hasn't touched the ice cream. She looks a little sinister this time. Hey, don't mean to intrude, but are you like seeing Jerry? And what about Jack? Seeing Jerry? 
What do you mean? Well, I just found some clothes that was upstairs laying on the ground, and I figured... You looked around? Could have asked. I never saw Jerry, Dave. In fact, I only just met him a few days ago. Wait, what else did you see? He managed to yank the piece in his mouth out, and it's revealed to be the corner of a toe or a finger. Oh my. Oh. He looks at her and she nods. So did you like Jerry? He gets out of his seat to try and leave, but he collapses. He starts to feel paralyzed and mentally sleepy, and he starts to feel tired. She also begins to follow him, to which she blocks off a door. He tries to scream, but he can't get any noise out. Whoa, that was faster than usual. And don't worry, you're not the first, and you won't be the last. Wait, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck indeed. With just enough strength, he looks outside the back door, which is open, and attempts to make an escape. Dave gets up and runs outside, getting to the fence. He tries to climb it. Fuck off, please, don't! Sarah comes behind him and helpfully stabs him in the back multiple times. She also has gloves on now, but the blood spreads over her. Ah, oh, shit, fuck. Thanks, Dave. I knew I should have put something else on. Why? Oh, fuck it. Dave sees just about alive and gets dragged back inside the house. Her fridge is open with two Tupperware containers clearly visible. One says Jerry and is a little bloody but empty. The other says Dave and is full with meat and blood. Sarah slams the fridge shut as she puts the cow on. Sarah's computer is open with a page open called Dave. The doorbell rings. She makes her way to the door and opens it to the voice of another man. Both greet each other for what seems to be for the first time. The end. Okay, that's good. We can definitely film that straight, as is. There's something interesting about your writing, though. Mm-hmm. Um, see, now, I didn't see this as tongue-in-cheek, but I get it. With the right actors, this is very tongue-in-cheek. Yeah. And people will be in on it. They will actually enjoy the goofiness, I think. I think... You don't no, have to fool anyone, well, but I think they're going to... they're gonna. It's going to be a bit spoofy if well, it's played right. But it's not meant to be... We were talking about this before. This isn't very serious. This is no, meant to be... It's meant to be fun. Tongue-in-cheek, like... Yeah. I think... Black comedy, so it's yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of the scenes, though, and a lot of the dialogue can be cut almost to... Yeah, yeah, yeah we were course. talking about We can trim. We can trim. What I, I think... think um, you were saying we are going to cut it for, but the bit where Sarah's computer's open, that then ties in all of the dialogue and makes the dialogue from the earlier dinner scene relevant. Yeah, yeah. Because then it sort of seems like she's blogging about like... Yeah, that was the in- original um, intent. I was actually going to cut that out, but actually thinking about it, that probably does work better. There's and it leaves a bit more sinister at the end than necessarily funny. It could be... Yeah. Oh, this is, this is funny, but also... Because little... you don't want to end funny on it, because you said we're, we're going for this rom-com, yeah. and then we're not sort of just switching straight to this sinister thing. We're sort of gradually... Yeah bring you into it and then it sort of gets a little bit more see the way you guys read it too um, if you find actors that are intelligent that have a bit of a spark then then that's going to work if there's a little bit of zest in her and a bit of you know she's got a bit of spark it's going to yeah, work it meant, yeah. she has to be yeah he's meant to be also a lot more to, a lot more like help like reserved he's not as out and about and like just think of that typical like yeah. white guy who plays like video games he's necessarily more on his own like, and, yeah. yeah and 